नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडियंस के खिलाफ पूरे इंडिया में भयंकर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन होता है चीनी चाउमीन नेपाली कोविड ये सब बुलाना तो अनफॉर्चुनेटली आज बहुत ही ज्यादा आम बात हो गई है हम लोग को कमेंट मिलते हैं फिर लाइक कोई पीछे से बोल देता है यार चिंकी चाइनीज हमेशा हमारे साथ ऐसा ही होता है नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टूडेंट के साथ स्पेशली दिल्ली में यहाँ के लोग समझने को तैयार नहीं कि हम भी एक इंडियन है इंडियन चोर है हम भी एक इंसान है सो जाते हैं कि लोगों की छान चली जाती है मैम ये बताएं कि आप लोग यहाँ पे डिमांड कर रहे हैं किस चीज़ की डिमांड कर रहे हैं इट्स रिगार्डिंग द इनजस्टिस जो हुआ है नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पीपल लोगों के साथ जो लोगों ने वो सत्रह साल या उन्नीस साल के स्टूडेंट को अ यंग बॉय जिसको मारा है उन्होंने वी डोंट फील सेफ इन दिस प्लेस इंडिया A land known for its cultural diversity continues to wrestle with deeply rooted prejudices and racial discrimination. Among the most affected are the people from Northeast India who frequently experience discrimination and stereotyping based on their physical appearance, language, and cultural differences. A derogatory term that often haunts them is chinky, a slur that reflects ignorance and racial bias. This video explores the origins of such discrimination, the enduring impact on Northeast Indians, and potential solutions to address this injustice. Northeast India is popularly known as the land of seven sisters and one brother. It includes eight Indian states and has a population about 45 million people. The term chinky has its roots in the racial profiling of people with East Asian features. In India, This slur is used against those from the northeast whose mongoloid features such as smaller eyes, different facial structures and fairer skin resemble people from China, Japan and Southeast Asia. Historically, the term has been used to dehumanize and segregate individuals based on their appearance, creating a sense of otherness and alienation. India gained independence from British rule in 1947. After over 200 years of subjugation, the integration of the Northeast into India is largely attributed to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the nation's first prime minister. Nehru's approach, often referred to as his forward policy, involved consolidating control over the northeastern region shortly after the British departure. His concern was that if India did not assert its presence there, China might take advantage of the region's strategic location. This drive to secure the northeast was seen as essential to safeguarding India's territorial integrity. The Indochina War of 1962 exacerbated anti-China sentiments across India. Following India's defeat, there was a surge in hostility towards anything associated with China. Northeastern Indians, whose features resembled Chinese people, became indirect targets of this animosity. Even though they are Indian citizens, they were and often still are viewed with suspicion, labeled as outsiders or foreigners. The political tension between India and China intensified these racial biases as public sentiment towards China remains negative to this day. Apart from being mistaken for Chinese, people from the Northeast are often subjected to various stereotypes. They are seen as exotic, and their distinct customs, attire, and food habits are frequently exoticized and mocked. The stereotyping of northeastern women, in particular, as easy or immoral, is another layer of the discrimination they face. This has led to an increase in sexual harassment and verbal abuse, especially in urban areas like Delhi, Bengaluru, and Mumbai. where many northeastern indians move for education and work skin color is a real issue in india due to the caste system they are not comfortable with northeast people and that's one of the reasons why the northeast has been neglected for the last 75 years the indian caste system a deeply entrenched social hierarchy also plays a role in exacerbating the discrimination faced by northeastern people Although they don't traditionally fit into the caste system, many northeast communities are marginalized, aligning them with India's Dalits and tribal groups who are often at the receiving end of caste-based prejudices. This intersection of racial and caste discrimination isolates them further and prevents social integration.
The geographical isolation of the northeastern states from mainland India, combined with cultural differences, has contributed to a lack of understanding and familiarity between people from the northeast and other regions. Stereotypes are often born out of ignorance, and the physical and metaphorical distance between the two regions has made mutual understanding and respect harder to achieve. This isolation has contributed to the alienation of Northeast Indians, who were treated as outsiders in their own country. People from the Northeast face various challenges when they move to metropolitan cities in search of education and employment. Despite being highly qualified, many Northeastern individuals report that they face discrimination during job interviews where their appearance and background are questioned. In educational institutions, students from the Northeast frequently encounter bullying, mockery, and isolation, which hinders their academic progress and mental well-being. Racism in India appears to be a deeply entrenched issue that won't be resolved easily. Even in the United States, often hailed as a civilized nation and the land of the free, racism persists and continues to thrive. Given these challenges, it may be wise for Northeastern Indians to consider ASEAN countries for education and employment opportunities. For instance, Bangkok University offers high-quality education to international students in a welcoming, home-like environment. Additionally, living in Bangkok is more affordable than in New Delhi, making it a more cost-effective option. Media both mainstream and social, have played a significant role in perpetuating stereotypes about Northeastern people. Their representation in Bollywood films, for example, is minimal, and when they are depicted, it is often through a highly exoticized lens. This lack of positive representation in the media reinforces the idea that they are not part of the Indian mainstream, further alienating them from the larger national narrative. The Indian government has made some efforts to address racial discrimination. In 2012, the use of the term chinky was criminalized under the Indian Penal Code, IPC, Section 153A, which prohibits acts that promote enmity between different groups. However, this legal provision is seldom enforced, and racial slurs continue to be part of everyday interactions. The lack of awareness about the law and the reluctance to take racial abuse seriously have rendered this legal response largely ineffective. To tackle racial discrimination against Northeastern Indians, a multi-pronged approach is needed. Schools and universities must incorporate awareness programs that teach respect for diversity and foster understanding of the culture and history of the Northeastern states. Encouraging positive and diverse representations of Northeastern people in mainstream media would help break down stereotypes. The enforcement of anti-racism laws needs to be strengthened, and there should be stricter penalties for racial abuse. Greater efforts to promote cultural exchanges between Northeastern states and the rest of India would help reduce the cultural divide and encourage mutual understanding. Ultimately, the solution to this discrimination lies in fostering a national identity that celebrates diversity rather than homogenizing it. People from the Northeast must be recognized as integral to India's cultural fabric, with their unique heritage acknowledged and respected. Initiatives that highlight their contributions to Indian society, in sports, the arts, and public service, can shift the perception of Northeast Indians from being outsiders to proud citizens of the country. Racial discrimination against Northeastern Indians is a manifestation of ignorance, historical prejudice, and a lack of cultural understanding. The derogatory term, chinky, and the negative attitudes towards people from the Northeast have their roots in colonial racial attitudes, post-1962 war anti-China sentiment and the complexities of India's social hierarchies. Addressing this issue requires a combination of legal measures, educational reform, 
media representation, and cultural integration to create a more inclusive society where Northeast Indians are no longer marginalized but embraced as an integral part of India's diverse population.